Now, <coughs> there's, a, there's a kind of single-celled creature um, called a euglena, it's a genus, that can detect light from, the from, a, from a particular direction in order to move toward the light, allowing for better photosynthesis. And you know, the, the, some, a characteristic of this of this of this euglena is that it's, it, it, it can it can um, it functions both as an animal as a plant. It can it can use photosynthesis to generate energy, but it but it it also um, can essentially it can uh, it can like eat things right in order to get en energy right um, and it has a sort of basic kind of sensory apparatus in which it's really limited to perceiving likeness, right? And uh, what, what basically what it does, it's got this little, this little eye spot. You see the eye spot there in red, right? And the eye spot, it, I don't really know, I, I, I can't give you the details of this, but uh, essentially it filters the wavelength of light going through there and when it hits then the, the, the photoreceptor, it can tell that essentially it, it's, it's, it's because, because the, the light has to go through that one spot to hit the photoreceptor in the, in the, in the, in the particular pattern that it does, it can only sort of detect when light of a certain intensity is coming from that particular direction. That's the only thing it can really detect, right? But once it does detect light of a particular intensity going, coming from that particular direction, then you see that it's attached to this whole, this little thing that's attached to the, to the, to the flagellum that, that helps to control the movement of this euglena. And so the, the perception of the direction of where the light is coming from actually causes it to move in the direction of the light. Right, so as soon as it's, and it's really, the, it's the same apparatus. You see that the apparatus that's perceiving the light is actually the same apparatus that's doing the movement, right? And so there's, um, and so this is the first point I want to make here, is that sensation here, as we argued before, depends upon conception. You have to have a conception of the thing of, a, of the sensation first before you can have the sensation. And the conception is basically this apparatus that's in this creature that links the eye spot to the, to the, to the flagellum, right? So that the perception is linked to this, to this movement, right? And so, the conce you know, so what we're saying is that, you know, the, this, this euglena, it, it, there's only one thing it can really perceive, which is light from a particular direction, which is lined up with the with the eye spot, and the only reason it can perceive it, the only way is because it has an apparatus that's built to perceive that, right? So that again, what we're saying is the conception, which is the apparatus, precedes the sensation. It's not going to see anything. It's not going to perceive anything without this apparatus, right? And and the apparatus is in the form of the copula. Right? It's a, there's a linkage. That's what's key, that there's a linkage going on in order to enable perception. You can't have any kind of perception without a linkage. And the linkage here is the linkage between the eye spot and the flagellum. Right? So there's a linkage between the perception of the light coming from the dire direct, different direction and the motion and the movement of the euglena that would, also, that, that would sort of correspond to motion in that same direction. So, <coughs> so so we've, we've kind of isolated here the, the aspect of being, right, that's, that's within the euglena, right, which is, it, which is the linkage, the copula, the connection. So we have the connection. And then we can see that it's, it's detecting a quality. The quality is the existence of light from a particular direction, right? But this detection of light does not dissociate from other directions. I mean, so obviously it can detect light from one direction coming in from the direction of the eye spot. It doesn't really detect other light. It's in, in a sense prescinding from those other directions, right? But because it's detecting the one thing, there is the kind of on and off, right? So that there is implicitly a difference in quality that it's detecting, right? Even though it's not really I guess you could say conscious, you can't really talk about consciousness, but it's, it's not really detecting the other directions. It's just detecting the one direction, and so that's 
by detecting one direction, you can differentiate one direction from all other directions. Right? But in a sense, what it's, it's only really able to detect likeness, right? which is to say it's, it's only able to detect that one quality of light coming from that one direction. Right? Um, so even though it's obvious that it, there has to be a difference between that quality and other quality in order for, for it to be able to, to function as, as doing anything, it's not really differentiating those two things. So that's why it's really a, a likeness that it's able to uh, perceive. Right? Um, this is not to say that there is no indexical connection. So there is, so like, just like when we looked at the, the walking stick bug, all the parts of a comparison are there, even if the walking stick bug is, n is not communicating those other parts. Here, all the parts of the comparison are there, even though this organism is not really perceiving those other parts. Right? So here, there's an indexical connection between the eye spot and the position of the flagellum, right? um, meaning that the, the detection of light waves then creates a difference in motion. Right? So there's a linkage, right? and so there's a linkage between two different things. Right? So without the link to the flagellum, the eye spot would have no meaning. Right? The, you know, there's no point in having the eye spot detect light from that direction if it weren't connected to the flagellum. Right? Now, there's also an interpretant. The interpretant is the chloroplast, which creates the energy based on the access to the light waves, and therefore has a relationship to the light waves that justifies the relationship of the eye spot to the light waves. Right? So that there has, again, there has to be some kind of justification for the, for the comparison, right? And the chloroplast provides that justification, which is the interpretant here, right? And so if we, if we diagram this a little bit, right? You know, we get, um, you know, the, the, the different four pieces of the comparison that we, we worked out before, right? We've got the related thing, which is the eye spot. We've got the correlate, which is the movement of the flagellum. The qu common quality is the, the light coming from the direction of the eye spot, right? And then we've got the interpretant, which is the photosynthesis of the chloroplast. Because if, 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 we, if, if this didn't exist, then all that would be useless. It would never have developed. It would, there would be no point for that. Right? And so this is really the, the fact of the possibility of the photosynthesis through the chloroplast is really ends up being the interpretant for that whole apparatus, even though you know, obviously the euglene is not, doesn't have any you know, consciousness of all of these different relationships, it's, but it's, it's subject to those different relationships um, in the way it's constructed. All right?